Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Let's keep this short and sweet. Here's a modern bralette with a cute twist. I had a small amount of navy yarn and this idea, so I just decided to go for it in between projects. Gotta answer when creativity calls. Speaking of, if you're looking for something to spark your creativity, we've got hundreds of designs to spark interest, so get subscribed and click the bell so you never miss out. And if you could do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. It goes a long way to helping the channel grow so I can continue to make tutorials for you to enjoy. Now it's time to get on with the show, so without further ado. For this project, any category for yarn will work, but I used a total of 110 grams of yarn. That's 150 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5mm hook scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us your favorite thing to do with scrap yarn. Besides granny squares, which most of us do, I also use scrap yarn to tie and secure things around the house. Creator ingenuity. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using four stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook and we're all going to start by making a chain that reaches from mid underarm down to where we want the bottom of this bralette to be. Keeping in mind we will have a bottom band right underneath the bust as well. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 15 and it's just about 3.5 inches or 9 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain and do a chain two. Now those chains don't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain because we want the height for our next half double crochet row. So from here, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet, and then we're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook. So start by inserting your hook into that chain, we're going to yarn over, pull through. We should now have three loops on our hook. So from here, we're going to yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. That's our first half double crochet. Let's do one more together. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. You're going to continue to put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one. And I'll meet you guys back so that we can increase into there together. Now that we've put one half double crochet into every chain, into that last one, we're going to be doing an increase of two half double crochets. So start with the yarn over and insert your hook into that last chain with one half double crochet, and then into that same last chain with just one more. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same last chain with our second half double crochet. Now from here, our next row is going to be a back loop slip stitch row. So all we're going to do to work our way up to that row is do a chain one. That chain doesn't count as a stitch. That's our turning chain. And then we're going to flip our work. From here, we're going to be putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So start by inserting your hook into that first available stitches back loop. We should have two loops on our hook. So all we're going to do is yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Let's do that again. Into that next back loop. Yarn over and pull through everything, and let's do one more. Insert into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. We've just made our way all the way down with our row number two, or our back loop slip stitch row. And from here, we're going to switch back out to our half double crochets, but now they're all going to be within the back loops. So all we're going to do is chain two again, that doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain, and then we're going to flip our work. 
We're going to start by doing a yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. And then into that first available stitch, we're going to insert into that back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Let's do that again. Yarn over, into that next stitch, insert your hook, pull through, pull through three. Continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one so that we can increase with each other one more time. We have made our way all the way down with our back loop half double crochet row. And to close it off, we need to do an increase of two back loop half double crochets into that last stitch that we left. So we're going to yarn over into that last back loop, insert your hook. We're going to do one back loop half double crochet, and then into that same back loop, into that last stitch, your second half double crochet, and that is our increase. From here, we're going to repeat our back loop slip stitch row and our back loop half double crochet row, where we do an increase at the end of the row until this reaches from mid underarm to the corner of your underarm. And since we're here, we might as well just get started with our next row with each other. So just do a chain one, flip your work, and into that first stitch, insert into that back loop, yarn over, pull through everything with a slip stitch. And then just put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. I will meet you guys back once we have this section all finished up, making sure that we meet back right after a slip stitch row. Alright, so I am back with the first half of my underarm portion. I have a total of four rows, and this is just about one inch or two centimeters unstretched. And from here, we're going to continue on with our underarm portion, but we're going to do some more increases along the end so that we can have a nice curve working up to the cup. So we should have all ended right after a slip stitch row. And from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and then we're going to do an increase of three into the last stitch now. So just as a refresher, to work our way up to the half double crochet row, we're going to chain two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. I will meet you back when we have just one stitch left. We've made our way all the way down with our half double crochet row. We have left that last stitch, and now we're going to do an increase of three back loop half double crochets now. So start with the yarn over. Insert your hook into that last back loop that we have in this row. And then we're going to do one half double crochet. And we're going to be doing two more into that same last loop. So yarn over. There is my second. And we're going to be doing one more. All right, so now we should have a total of one, two, three half double crochets into that last stitch. And we do need to increase into our slip stitch row as well. So what we're going to do from here is do a chain two. There's one. There's two. That first chain that we made is going to count as a stitch. And that second chain that we made counts as our turning chain. And once we have those two chains, we're going to flip our work. We're going to skip that first chain, which is our turning chain. And then into that second chain, we're going to insert into that first back loop. So insert your hook into there. Yarn over and pull through everything. That's our first back loop slip stitch. Let's do one more. Into that next back loop, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. And that is it. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then from here, we're going to repeat our two previous rows until this reaches the front of our body. So we have a back loop half double crochet row with an increase of three along the end. Do a chain two. And then put your first back loop slip stitch into the second chain from your hook and then and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. I will meet you guys back right after a back loop half double crochet row. I'm back and I have just finished up the entirety of my underarm portion. I have a total of seven rows and this is just about two inches or five centimeters unstretched now. And we should have all ended right after a half double crochet row. And now we're going to get started on our cup decrease. So getting started on this portion, our slip stitch rows aren't going to have any increases or decreases into them. So all we're going to do from here is do a chain one and flip your work. And we're just going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain two, 
flip your work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two because then we're going to be doing a decrease of two together. All right, we are back and we have just finished up our back loop slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. And we have made our way up with our back loop half double crochets, leaving the last two stitches because now we're going to do a decrease together. So what we're going to do is yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. And then also insert your hook into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through, should have four loops on our hook now. And we're just going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. That is how we do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. And from here, it's going to be a repeat of our back loop slip stitch row with no decreases. And then our back loop half double crochet row with a decrease of two at the end. So just to get started with our back loop slip stitch row, do a chain one, flip our work, and then make your way down, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Keep repeating these two rows until this can stretch about two inches away from mid chest. And I'll meet you guys back right after slip stitch row. I've just finished up the decrease portion of my cup and I now have a total of 18 rows and my width is just about four inches or 10 centimeters now. And now we're going to continue on with our decreases, but we're going to scoop it just a little bit further down so we can have kind of a sweetheart neckline. So what we're going to do from here, since we all should have ended on a slip stitch row, is do our back loop half double crochet row and do a decrease of three at the end. So just to start this off with you, we're going to do a chain two flip our work. We're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that first back loop with a half double crochet and continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three. We've made our way down with our back loop half double crochet row and we should have left three stitches and here are mine. Here's one, two, and then three. So now we're going to do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. So start with a yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last back loop, yarn over and pull through. Also insert your hook into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through, and we should have one more. Insert your hook into that last back loop, yarn over and pull through. All together, we should have one, two, three, four, and five loops on our hook. So from here, all we're gonna do is yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. And we do need to do a decrease into our slip stitch row as well. So start with a chain two. So start with a chain one and flip your work. Now to do a decrease of two back loop slip stitches, what we're going to do is insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, Pull through that first loop. We should have two loops on our hook. And then once more into that next back loop. Now that we have three loops on our hook, we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And from here, it's going to be a repeat of our two previous rows. So continue to finish up this row, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And just to do the decrease of three back loop half double crochets with you guys again, at the end of the row, do a chain two. Flip your work, then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and I will meet you back when we have just three stitches left. We are back with our back loop half double crochet row, and we're going to do a decrease of three together one more time. We should have left our last three stitches in this row, and all we're going to do is yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last back loop, pull through, also insert your hook into that second back loop pull through, and then also into that last back loop in the row. Yarn over, pull through. You should have five loops on our hook, so just yarn over and pull through all five. Since we're here, let's just do our next row with each other, and then I'll let you guys continue on with this. So just do a chain one, flip your work. To do our decrease of two back loop slip stitches, we're going to insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. Also, in through that next back loop, we should have three loops on our hook now, so yarn over and pull through everything on your hook through all three of those loops. 
and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We are going to maintain these two rows until this can stretch over to the middle of our chest, making sure that we meet back right after a half double crochet row, and then I'll meet you guys back so we can do the other side. I am back with the sweetheart neckline portion of my piece. I have a total of 23 rows and now my width is just about five and a half inches or 14 centimeters. And now we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did over here, but on the other side. But first we need to do our middle row, which is going to be a back loop slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. So from here, all we're going to do is do a chain one, flip our work, then make our way down, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. At the end of this row, we're going to get started with the increased portion of our sweetheart neckline. So do a chain two, flip our work, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, leaving the last one, and then I'll meet you guys back. Our middle row of all back loop slip stitches is all finished up, and now we're about to get started with the increased portion of our sweetheart neckline. So all we did was put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and we left the last one. So what we're going to do from here is now an increase of three back loop half double crochets into that last stitch. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch with one, into that same last stitch with two, and then once more into that same last stitch with three back loop half double crochets because we need it to match our decrease of three back loop half double crochets on the other side of our middle row. And we do need to increase into our slip stitch row as well. So just like how we were doing the underarm portion, we're going to start with a chain two. So chain one and chain two. From here, we're going to flip our work and we're going to start by inserting our hook into the second chain from our hook. The chain that's nearest to our hook counts as our turning chain. We're going to bring our hook into that chain's back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. And then continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And from here, we're going to keep repeating these two rows of our back loop half double crochets with an increase of three at the end. And then our slip stitch row with an increase as well until we have the same amount of rows as we have on the other side of our middle seam for our sweetheart neckline. Now, I only had five rows for this portion of my sweetheart neckline. So I'm going to do my five rows and then I will meet you guys back so that we can do the other half of our cup. All right, so I have just finished up the sweetheart portion of my cups. And now we're going to do the rest of our cup, which we're just gonna be doing an increase of two into the half double crochet row and then nothing into the slip stitch row, kind of like how we did on this side, but instead of increases, we did decreases. So from here, we should have all ended right after a half double crochet row. And like I just said, we're not gonna be doing anything into the slip stitch row. So just chain one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. At the end of this row, do a chain two, flip your work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and leave the last one so that we can do our increase of two together. We've just put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And all we're going to do into that last stitch that we left is do an increase of two back loop half double crochets. So just yarn over into that last back loop, insert your hook with one half double crochet, and then one more into that same back loop. So insert with your next. And then from here, just chain one. Flip your work and then make your way down, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to keep up with these two rows now until we have the same amount of rows as our cup on the other side. And I will get mine done and then I will meet you guys back so we can get started on the underarm portion. All right, so the entirety of my cup is all finished and now we're going to do our underarm portion. So from here, we should have all ended on a slip stitch row and what we're going to do is put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch leaving the last three and i will meet you guys back just so we can do our decrease of three together all right so we are back and we have left one two three stitches and now all we're going to do is a decrease of three back loop half double crochets 
start with the yarn over into that third to last back loop, pull through into that second to last back loop, pull through, and then into that last back loop, pull through. Should have five loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through all five. And from here, we are going to need to decrease into our slip stitch row as well. So do a chain one, flip our work, and I'm sure we already know how to do this, but we're just going to do this with each other really quickly. Insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. That next back loop should have three loops on our hook, so all we're going to do is yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Now, this portion that we're doing right here is the same underarm portion that we did that curved up to our cup. So we're gonna be doing the same amount of rows that we have over here. If you guys have my numbers, I ended up just having three rows. So I'm going to be doing my three rows and then I will meet you guys back so we can finish up the other half of our underarm together. So keep repeating these two rows and I'll meet you guys back. The first half of my underarm portion is all finished up and we're now just going to close off this piece by doing a decrease of two into every half double crochet row and then absolute nothing into our slip stitch row. So from here, we should have all ended right after a half double crochet row. We're going to do our slip stitch row, so just chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. At the end of the row, do a chain two, flip your work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two just so we can decrease with each other one more time. We've made our way all the way down. We have two stitches left and we're just going to do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets together once more. And I'll let you guys finish this piece off on your own. So yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last back loop, pull through, also into that last back loop, pull through, four loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all four. Chain one. Flip our work, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and then keep repeating these two rows until we have the same amount of underarm rows as we started off with right over here. I had a total of four, so I'm going to be doing my four. I'm going to chain up one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I am back, and the entirety of my front panel is all finished, and now we're going to start working on our detail. So the first thing we're going to have to do is single crochet from the top corner of our cup down towards the middle to the other top corner of our cup. So what we're going to do is insert our stitch marker into this side slip stitch row that we have right here, right where the corner is. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And now working our way down, we're gonna be putting one single crochet into every side slip stitch row and two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. So let's get this started. Since we inserted our hook into this side slip stitch row, we're gonna be putting one single crochet into there as well. And that's gonna count as our first stitch. So into the same stitch that our chain's coming out of, insert your hook into there with just one single crochet. Now my next side row that I have is right here, and this is a side half double crochet row. And we're gonna be putting two single crochets into there. So we're gonna find that top loop on our half double crochet row, insert your hook, with just one single crochet. And then we have to do one more into that same side half double crochet row. So insert once more with another single crochet. Let's do just one more set. This is my next row, which is a side slip stitch row. I'm gonna insert my hook into that top loop with just one single crochet, just like that. And then into my side half double crochet, I'm gonna find that top loop, insert my hook with two single crochets. So there's one, and then into that same top loop, insert your hook with another. There is two. And we're gonna keep doing this, making our way all the way down until we reach the corner of this cup that we have right over here. So this side slip stitch row, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up our single crochet row along the top of our front panel. Now we're going to get started on our Suzette stitch detail. So from where we're at, we're going to all make an even number chain, the height that we want our detail to be. I want mine to be just about an inch or two centimeters, so I'm just gonna make a chain of four. 
Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain one. That chain one doesn't count as a stitch. That's just our working chain. And then into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to go in with our Suzette stitch. And that's going to be one single crochet and one double crochet into the same chain. So into that chain that we blocked off, insert your hook, and we're going to do one single crochet, and then into that same chain, one double crochet. So that's going to be a yarn over. Insert your hook into that same chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And now that we have that, let's do our next. When doing our Suzette stitches, we are always going to be skipping one stitch and then doing our Suzette into the next. Because if we don't, we're going to be accidentally increasing. So go ahead and skip that next chain, then into the next, insert your hook with one single crochet, and then also one double crochet. Continue on with this pattern until we have just one stitch left, but since I am already at the base, I have my one stitch right here, and all we're going to do is half double crochet into there. So yarn over, we're going to insert our hook into that last chain, pull through, pull through, all three loops on our hook. And now I need to connect it into the base, which is our single crochet row that we just did on top of our front panel. So all we're going to do is count two stitches. Here's our first stitch. Here's our second stitch. We're gonna slip stitch into that second stitch to close off our row number one. And that's what it should look like. Now to get started on our row number two, we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch, into the base, just one, to work our way up to the next row. We are now going to flip our work and then we can do our Suzette stitches again. So we're gonna start by inserting our hook into the first stitch from our previous row, and that is our half double crochet. So go ahead and insert your hook into there with one single and one double crochet. And then we're going to skip one stitch and do our next Suzette stitch. Now a really quick fun fact is our Suzette stitches from rows two and onward, they're all gonna be worked into the single crochet stitch from our previous row. So we're gonna skip the next stitch, which is our double crochet, and then into the next, we're going to single and double. So there is one single crochet and one double crochet. We're going to continue on with this pattern, making our way all the way down until we have just two stitches left. But since I'm along the edge and I have my two stitches right here, we're gonna half double crochet into that last stitch. So yarn over into that last stitch, one half double crochet. Now all together, we should have two rows. Let's do row three and four with each other and I'll let you guys repeat those two rows until we don't have any more stitches left. So starting off all of our odd number rows, you should be along the outer edge. So we're going to chain one and flip our work. We're going to do our first set into the first stitch from our previous row, which is our half double crochet stitch. So there's one, single crochet, and then also one double crochet. Skip the next stitch, into the next stitch, one single crochet, and one double crochet. Continue to do this until we have just two stitches left, like I have right here. So we're gonna skip that second to last, and then half double crochet into that last stitch or the stitch that's nearest to the base. Now closing off all of our odd number rows, we're going to need to slip stitch into the second stitch into the base. So count up one, count up two. Into that second stitch, go ahead and slip stitch to close this off. And then to work our way up to the next row or our even number row, slip stitch up just one stitch into the base and flip our work. Now let's do our first Suzette, which is going to go into that first stitch from our previous row. So one single crochet and one double crochet. 
we're going to skip one stitch and then into the next stitch, one single and then one double crochet. Continue that until we have two stitches left again. And then once we have two, we're going to yarn over, skip that second to last stitch, then half double crochet into the last stitch. And that is it. It is now going to be a repeat of rows three and four, making our way all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. I'll meet you guys back once we reach this corner. All right, so I have made my way all the way down to my last stitch for my top band. And now I did a chain up one cut and we can get started on the back panel. So go ahead and grab your same category four yarn, your same five millimeter hook. And we're all going to start by making a chain, the same amount of chains that we made when we did our first chain for our underarm portion. So I made a chain of 15. So right now I'm going to make another chain of 15. Now that we have our chain, you're going to block off that last chain and do a chain of two. That doesn't count as a stitch. That's just our turning chain. And we're going to half double crochet into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. So yarn over into that chain that we blocked off with a half double crochet. And then from there, put one half double crochet into every chain. All right, so we have made our way all the way down with our first half double crochet row. And all we're going to do from here is a back loop slip stitch row, no increases and no decreases. So just chain one. Flip our work and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Our row number two, which our back loop slip stitch row is all finished up. And now we're going to go back to doing our half double crochet row, but it's all going to be within the back loops now. So chain two and flip our work. And just put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. No increases and no decreases. And we're going to keep repeating our back loop slip stitch and back loop half double crochet row until we get a band that can stretch from underneath mid underarm across our back to underneath mid underarm on the other side. I will meet you guys back right after a half double crochet row so that we can seam everything together. All right, my back panel is all finished up. I have a total of 35 rows and my width is just about eight inches or 20 centimeters and that is unstretched. And now we're going to seam our sides together and form our piece. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our front panel is faced downward, meaning the ribbing that we have is faced down and away from us. And then the back panel, we're going to make sure that the ribbing is faced up towards us. And from here, we're going to be inserting our hook into the corner stitch of the front panel. Since our hook is already in through the back panel, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And now we're going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam. So how we're going to do that is start by inserting your hook into that first available stitch into the front panel, only inserting in through that front loop. And now we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch into the back panel, only inserting in through that back loop. And from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. Let's do this again. Into that next stitch into the front panel, only insert in through that front loop. And then into the next stitch into the back panel, only insert in through that back loop. Yarn over and pull through everything. And we're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we just did here on the other side. All right, so our front and back panel are all seamed up. And next we're going to start working on our bottom band. So we're going to start by inserting our hook into any one of our bottom side rows. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and I'm going to do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to be putting two single crochet into every side half double crochet, and then one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So the same way that we did the top of our front panel. So let's just do the first set together. Now my first side row that I have right here is a side half double crochet. So I'm going to find that top loop and then single crochet. And since it's the side half double crochet for me, I'm going to have to do one more into that same side loop. So I now have two single crochets. 
My next side row is this side slip stitch row. So find that top loop, insert your hook, and then single crochet. And we're going to maintain this, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain one space, then I'll meet you guys back. I have made my way all the way around with my single crochet row, and now we're going to make a chain the length that we want our bottom band to be. Now I want mine to be about two inches or five centimeters. So I'm gonna start by making a chain of 10. And now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain and do a chain of one. That chain doesn't count as a stitch, that's just a turning chain. And then into that chain that we blocked off, or with the second chain from our hook, we're gonna insert with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into that chain. Should have two loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through both of those loops. Let's do this again. Into that next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. Now a really quick tip that I have for you guys when it comes to doing our slip stitches is when we're inserting our hook and doing our slip stitch, once when we finish our slip stitch, make sure that we're not tugging on the work to make it tight, because it's gonna be really hard to work into it for the next row if it's too tight. So go ahead and insert your hook into that next chain again, yarn over, pull through everything, and then continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. All right, so I just put one slip stitch into every chain, and now we're gonna slip stitch it into the base. So all we're gonna do is find that next available stitch into the base, slip stitch it into that stitch. And now our first row is all closed off. We do need to work our way up to the next row, so just slip stitch up one stitch again, flip our work, and then now we're going to be putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So to get that started, insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. And once more into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. I'll meet you back at the end of this row. All right, we have two rows now, and just to get started with the next row, we're going to chain one, flip our work, and then just put one back loop slip stitch to every stitch. And we're going to keep repeating our two previous rows of all back loop slip stitches with no increases and no decreases, making our way all the way around until we don't have any more stitches into the base to work into. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it all together. We've just made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch rows. We don't have any more stitches left to work into, and now we're going to seam it together. We're going to do the same seam that we did for the sides. So a outside loop slip stitch seam. So we're gonna make sure that our work is slipped right side out. And then from here, we're gonna be inserting our hook into the first available stitches front loop into the front panel. And then into the back panel, we're gonna find that first available stitch and insert into that back loop. We should have three loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all three. Let's do this again. Into the next stitch, into the front panel, insert only in through that front loop. And then into the next stitch, into the back panel, insert in through that back loop, and then slip stitch. We're gonna keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so our bottom band is all finished up, and now we're going to start working on the strap. But the first thing I'm gonna have to do is single crochet from this top corner along the back, and then making our way up to this top corner over here. So let's all start by inserting our hook into this top stitch, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and then do a chain up of one to secure. Now working into the side of our Suzette stitch section, we should have actual stitches to work into. They might be a little tough to see, but they are there. And we should have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made. So since I originally made a chain of four, I'm going to have four single crochets right here. So I'm gonna insert my hook into that first stitch with just one single crochet. This is my next stitch right here. So I'm gonna insert my hook into that first stitch into the side of my Suzette panel. This is my next stitch right here. Insert your hook into there and continue to put one single crochet into every stitch. And then once we put one single crochet into the side of our Suzette stitch section, we're gonna be working down 
our underarm portion, and then across our back. They're going to be side half double crochets and side slip stitch rows. And just like how we did our bottom band single crochet and this single crochet right over here, we're going to be putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet then one single crochet into every side slip stitch. So let's do the first set together. This is my first side half double crochet right here. I'm going to find that top loop and insert with one and then insert with another single crochet. And then my next side row is this row right here, which is a side slip stitch row. Go ahead and find that top loop and single crochet into there. And we're going to maintain this, making our way all the way around till we reach all the way up to this corner. Do a chain up or one cut, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, my single crochet row along the top is all finished. And right before we get started on the strap, we're going to need to find our middle stitch marker within the single crochet row that we just made. So I have inserted my stitch marker into my 42nd stitch, and that is my middle point. If you guys have two, that is completely fine. Well, all we're going to do from here is insert our hook into our stitch marker stitch. If you guys have two, just pick one of them. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. And from here, we're going to make a chain the height that we want this back detail to be, but this is also going to be the thickness of our strap as well. And I want my strap to be just about one inch or two centimeters. So I'm going to start making a chain of five. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain of one. That chain doesn't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. And from here, we're going to slip stitch into that stitch that we blocked off for the second chain from our hook. So we're going to insert our hook into that chain and pull through everything. And from here, just like our bottom band, we're going to be putting one slip stitch into every chain. And now that we've put one slip stitch into every chain, we now need to connect it into the base. So we're going to count up one stitch into the base and slip stitch into there to close off our first row. Now we need to work our way up to the next row. So we're going to slip stitch up the next stitch into the base, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then from here, it is going to be a complete repeat of the bottom band. So just put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, connecting it into the base the same way that we've been doing. And I will meet you guys back once we make our way all the way up to the point of our cup. And I will show you guys how we're going to do the rest of our strap. All right, so we have made our way all the way up to this top corner stitch. And from here, all we're going to do is continue on with our back loop slip stitch rows. And we're going to make it long enough so it can stretch up and over our shoulder and then connect it into the back. So from here, it doesn't matter if we're along the inside or along the outside, all we're going to do is chain one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And I will meet you guys back once when I have my total amount of rows to let you guys know how many I have and then where we're going to connect it. I am back and I have just finished up my strap. From right here, I have an additional 45 rows, and this is just about eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters. And from here, we're gonna insert our stitch marker into the stitch where we want our strap to connect. So what we're going to do is take our strap, and we're going to fold it over, making sure that it's not twisted. And then since I have inserted my stitch marker into the ninth row from this first row that I have right here, I'm going to insert my hook, into the top of that side row. Now, since we want the seam to be along the inside, we're going to continue to pull our strap underneath so that now it's pulled beneath our hook. And then from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And from here, we're just going to single crochet, putting one single crochet into every stitch and side row until we don't have any more left. So just to do the first one, I'm gonna insert my hook into my first stitch into my strap and then into the first side row that I have within my back panel and this is mine right here I'm going to single crochet let's do the next one I'm going to insert my hook into that next stitch and then into the next side row I have into the back panel and then single crochet let's just do one more 
I'm going to insert my hook into my last stitch. Then also into my next side row into my back panel and then single crochet. From here, do a chain up of one and cut. And now that one of my straps is all finished up, the other side is going to be a repeat. I'm just going to show you guys where we're going to insert our hook. So all we're going to do is take our hook, insert it into the corner stitch of the initial chain that we made when we were doing our back band. And then from here, we're going to do our back loop slip stitches all the way down and then repeat. So back loop slip stitches, making our way all the way up to this corner and then make the same amount of rows as straps as we made on this side and then seam it into that same stitch. I'll meet you guys back when we have this side all finished up. All right, so we are back and both of our straps are nice and attached and the last thing we're gonna have to do is weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. All of those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.